It is a thrill. I love this show. You're telling me a big fat lot. I was hoping for funny crazy. I will get on stage on Broadway and I will reenact the rantings of Charlie Sheen one day. Think you can replace me with some other guy? Go ahead. It won't be the same. It is mightiest in the mightiest. Do not bring Shakespeare into this. You're so smart. Oh, really? Well, so are you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. A friend's reunion hasn't happened and won't ever happen because one of the original six cast members never comes through when it's time to get together. That's according to one of the stars. In an interview with Yahoo, Courtney Cox said that all six friends, David Schwimmer, Jennifer Aniston, Matt LeBlanc, Lisa Kudrow, Matthew Perry, and herself haven't been in the same room together since the show ended in 2004. Fans' hopes for a reunion movie won't be realized because, quote, we've gotten about 80% there, but there's always one person who flakes out at the end, unquote. And who might this flake be? When asked, Cox said, I'm not going to name names, but it may not be David Schwimmer. Apparently, Americans love their moms a little more this year. The National Retail Federation says Americans plan to spend an average of $172.63 each on Mother's Day festivities this year. That's up over a dollar from last year. Shoppers said they plan to spend about $8 on cards for the holiday, and 80% of them plan to buy at least one card. 67% of shoppers plan to buy flowers, while Valentine's Day is the biggest holiday for giving flowers, Mother's Day is the biggest holiday for having flowers delivered from afar. 44% of participants plan to give their mother gift cards for the holiday, and 14% plan to give some kind of consumer electronics. Jack Eli, a former singer with garage band The Kingsman, whose largely slurred version of the song Louie Luai became a staple of rock radio, has died in Oregon at age 71. Eli passed away this week at his home in Redmond of cancer. Jack Eli was with The Kingsman in 1963 when they recorded a version of the rhythm and blues song Louie Luai that had been written in 1955 by singer Richard Berry. Eli's slurred lyrics on the recording, which reached number two, two on the Billboard charts led to rumors he had sneaked obscenities into the song. Even the FBI opened an investigation in a futile attempt to determine all the words on the recording. Victoria's Secret has named 10 new angels? Wait, what? Without my final okay? Former Baltimore Raven Ray Lewis issued an impassioned anti-violence speech to stop the rioting in Baltimore. Some feel this is the greatest anti-violence speech ever given by a guy who got off a double murder rap with a plea bargain. Starbucks' computer system went down the other day. Customers suspected there was a problem when their drinks came out right with their names spelled correctly. A new marketing study reveals that one-third of babies in the U.S. have used a smartphone. Yeah, one-third of babies in China have made a smartphone. Prince William's pregnant wife Kate Middleton is past her due date. Doctors may have to induce labor. To speed up the birth, doctors have been telling the baby, Hey kid, come on out. You're never going to have to work a day in your entire life. It's official, Bruce Jenner will be getting his own reality show. Unfortunately, as a woman, Jenner will be making only 70% of what he made on his last reality show. A new education report finds that the brightest students are no longer going to law school. Apparently, they found more lucrative criminal activities. NBC is investigating over six occasions where Brian Williams embellished fabricated or enhanced a story, or as you and I call that, lying. A couple of rookie thieves in Alaska stole 80 pizzas, then tried to sell them to cops at the local precinct. Somebody's crust is a little too thick, if you know what I mean. And so much good stuff on television tonight, I don't know what to watch. Survivor, Law & Order SVU... Extreme Baltimore Mom Boxing. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out the Being Frank Show, starring Frank D'Angelo, live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, right here on NSS.